Catacumen is a Christian-themed first-person shooter developed by N Lighting Software and released for the PC in the year 2000. You take on the role of the eponymous cat. Oh God. You take on the role of the eponymous catacumen and journey throughout various environments set in ancient Rome, setting out on a mighty quest through the catacombs to destroy Satan himself, whose influence has plagued the soldiers of the Roman Legion, or something along those lines. As you progress level to level, the atmosphere becomes more hellish and demonic, and you begin to encounter more powerful creatures. Eventually, the catacumen finds himself in Satan's chamber, where the inevitable showdown takes place. At first glance, the game kind of looks like a fast-paced shooter, but you quickly realize that it's something else entirely. I am thankful for your bravery, and shall pray for your success. Now let me get this out of the way straight up. I'm not a religious person, but having said that, I don't really give a shit what other people choose to believe. And on that note, I'm going to be looking at Catacumen more in terms of how it performs as a game, instead of critiquing the religious content subjectively, like some sort of fucking self-righteous atheist. Or Christ. It's true, the story is religious, but it's still just a classic formula of good versus evil, and I'm going to treat it like that. Still though, you really do have to keep in mind that this game is aimed at Christians, not really the hardcore gamer. Which means a lot of the classic design elements you'd expect to see in a shooting game have been redesigned. Instead of a health bar, you've got a faith bar. And to restore your faith when you're wounded, you have to pick up scriptures throughout the levels, complete with excerpts from the Bible that pop up on the screen. In between levels, you're visited by various angels who provide short sermons, as well as giving the player more powerful weapons, the further in the game you get. The weapons, which are all ranged, are based off biblical items like King Solomon's scepter, Gabriel's sword, or Moses' staff, which all work like FPS archetypes. The scepter is essentially a grenade launcher, whilst Moses' staff is much like a rocket launcher, and I think in total is about six or seven weapons. Yet despite being a shooter, the game is still pretty much completely devoid of violence. There's no blood or gore to be found whatsoever, and most enemies simply keel over when you kill them. It's actually impossible to kill other human enemies at all. Instead, they explode in a burst of holy light and fall to one knee, as the catechumen instead converts them to Christianity. Yeah, I'm not making that one up. The human enemies are really bizarre as well, they don't actually have any ranged or melee attack, and all they do is rush up to the player and latch onto him for a few seconds. For its time, the game does look kind of impressive. There's some really good texture work, as well as some brilliant sound design to heighten the atmosphere in certain areas. And this all kind of ties in with my major criticism for this game. For something that is supposed to be a Christian game, it's really intense at times. It's something I'd assume a lot of kids would be playing, you know, the type of kids whose parents wouldn't buy them Half-Life or Soldier of Fortune. And I think these kids would have been in for a really big shock. At one point in the game, after being chased by a bunch of demons, I fell into a large pool of water. And this weird cobra thing came for me out of nowhere, and I literally screamed out loud like a little bitch. It can be flat out terrifying at times. There's giant hellhounds which hunt you throughout blood red coloured hallways. Distorted chanting and moaning echoing inside desecrated temples. And the screams and cries of gargoyles and other assorted creatures as they pursue you relentlessly. It's pretty fucked up. The final few levels take place in hell itself, with Satan's voice echoing as he mocks the catacumen. Catacumen, where are you? You go through all these mirror portals, traveling through different hellish realms, amongst a really bizarre atonal ambient soundtrack. For a game that's supposed to be a Christian's game, it sure does feel extremely sacrilegious at times. And this is really its biggest flaw, because it doesn't really appeal to the mainstream FPS gamer due to its religious overtones, but then I think it's far too dark to be enjoyed by its target market either. I'm not sure if there's some sort of emulation problem with the copy I've got, but the game also plays extremely fast. It's almost impossible to avoid enemy projectiles because they just move so damn quick. But at the end of the day, I'm not sure if this is just a legitimate complaint worth making, or just that the game has compatibility problems. If you compare it to other games of its time in terms of how it performs as a shooter, it's certainly not a masterpiece, but it really does do the job well enough and it has some decent level design to keep things interesting. On a positive note, it sure does have the happiest game over screen I think I've ever seen in a video game. which is pretty handy, because you're gonna be seeing that game over screen a fair bit. Catacumen is one of those games that I can see would have something of a cult following for people who played it when it was first released, all six of them. And according to its Wikipedia page, the game also cost $800,000 to make, 
which is money I'm sure wasn't sunk entirely in the development process. You know, other religious games like Super Noah's Ark 3D are pretty crappy overall, but the underlying factor with Catacumen is that it is actually still playable. As it stands though, there's really no reason to play it, unless you just feel like playing lost, obscure games for the hell of it. Yeah, pun intended. I'll get even someday.